simple ingredients and very simple to make fun, a lunch or snack ideas for your kids. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and I was cleaning out or off my computer and I found two recipes that I filmed probably a year ago last spring break of lunches, quick lunches that I made for my kids and I never shared them with you. So that is what I'm sharing with you guys today. I have two very simple, minimal ingredient lunches that I am going to share. They are so easy to make and just a fun twist for a lunch for your kiddo. Now, speaking of spring break, my kids are on spring break next week. I think you guys are seeing this the last full week that they have of uh, school. So they have spring break the 15th through the 19th. So this was some ideas that I made for them last year on spring break and I'll probably recreate them because I know how much my kids love them. And again, they are super simple to make. So let's go ahead and just jump right into these two fun lunch ideas. First up, we're going to make some pizza dot dippers. And as you can see here, only three ingredients. So I have some pepperoni slices, a can of refrigerated biscuits, and some pizza sauce. So let's get cooking. Okay, I've got my little biscuits out of the can, and I'm going to cut them in half. And then these are gonna be little mini, like I said, pizza dot dippers. So I'm going to cut these into thirds making six pieces total out of one biscuit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the rest of them. Okay, I have a pan lined with parchment paper. I've got all my little pieces cut up and now I'm just gonna form them into a little round disc. Obviously I am super skilled, look at that. So I'm gonna do that, put my pepperoni on top and kind of press it into the dough. Okay, my oven is preheated to 350 and now I'm going to pop these in and bake them for five to eight minutes. I'm just going to keep an eye on the dough. I want it to be lightly browned, but because it is a little bit smaller, I don't want to overcook them. All right, and here are the little pizza dippers. Just serve it with a pizza sauce on the side. This is great for just a little kids party appetizer type thing or just to change up an item for lunch. Super easy to pack in a lunch box. I definitely wanted to share this easy recipe with you guys. Today we're going to make a mac and cheese cups. This one is, I mean, they are all super simple. I've already got my water boiling. I'm going to cook the macaroni according to the box directions. You can make homemade macaroni and cheese, whatever you want. My kids are just super simple and this is their absolute favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this and then show you guys what we're gonna do next. All right, mac and cheese is done. I've got a cupcake at 10 here with eight. I'm only gonna make eight because that's how many rolls come in the crescent container, which you are gonna need one of these. My oven is preheating to 400 degrees. I bought this off of Amazon, so I'll have it linked down below. I love these silicone liners. It definitely helps with cleanup and it helps with the sticking. Pretty much whatever you make, it is not going to stick to these silicone aligners, so they are fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we're going to open our crescent roll container, then I'm going to scrunch up one into each muffin tin, making sure all the edges are sealed and filling up the liner as best as I can. And now we are going to put a scoop of mac and cheese in each cup. You should definitely have some mac and cheese left over. So you can just save that for another day or have it on the side of a dinner or go ahead and eat that up yourself for lunch. Okay, completely optional, but I am going to top mine with a little bit of salt and pepper. I get questions every time these are seen in videos these little salt and pepper dishes, and they are from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target. I think they were only like $5.99 each, so 
pretty affordable and I love having them on the counter. All right, and now I'm gonna put it in my 400 degree oven for 15 minutes. Okay, they are all done. I should have kept my eye on them. Um, maybe 14 minutes and <laughs> not 15. They're a little, they're still good, but they're a little more brown than I would have thought, but they're still warm. I wanted to show you. They just pop right out of these silicone liners. I love it. And then the kids can have like ketchup on the side to dip it in, kind of like a grilled cheese, but I wanted to show you. It's like a, a mac and cheese sandwich, mac and cheese, a cupcake. So it's still nice and steaming. I'm gonna let them cut, cool off a little bit longer. <laughs> Rose is helping me blow on it. And then we are going to eat them up for a fun take on a, a lunch idea. All right, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you have any minimal ingredient, super easy, fun, like lunch twists that you guys recreate for your kids down in the comments so we can get even more ideas. I know everybody's spring break is different, but going into spring break season. So if you guys are new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join us here. And with that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.